Okay, we're at gotomath.com. Click on the algebra. Let's go down to linear equations. And we are going to be looking at 6.1. 6 6.1. So we have an equation, 5t over t plus 5 equals 2 minus... 25 over t plus 5. t plus 5. Right. And of course, I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this because we're going to add some stuff to it. Minus 25. We're going to spread this out. All right. So we need to get rid of this t plus 5 down here in the denominator. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to multiply t plus 5 by each term. And um, you know what? We're going to need to... Uh, we're going to need some room. Okay, so t plus 5 times 2, and I, we can sneak in t plus 5 right here. Alright, so as you can see, what can we use here? The t plus 5s will now cancel out here and here. Alright, so that will get rid of our fractions. So we have 5t is equal to, and I'm going to go ahead and distribute this 2 across. So we have 2t plus 10. Right. And then, of course, those are going to disappear, and we're going to be left with minus 25 here. Right. So we got 5t plus 2t plus 10 minus 25. Now, let's collect up our like terms, and we're going to take that 2t over to the left, so we end up with 5t minus 2t is equal to 10 minus 25. And of course 5t minus 2t is going to give us 3t and that's going to be equal to minus 15. And so we multiply one third to both sides so we can get a 1 as a coefficient here of t. So that's going to be t is equal to negative 5. Now remember, this is a possible solution, so we want to go back, right, back to our original equation, and we plug in negative 5. Now look what happens here. When I take negative 5 and I plug it down here in the denominator, I get negative 5 plus 5 is 0, and you can't divide 0 into something, right? And of course, if we have negative 5 in the numerator up here, that's 5 times negative 5 is negative 25, so we end up with negative 25 over zero. So that's going to be a problem. And of course, same thing's going on over here. So as you can see here, this possible solution is not a solution. So this has no solution. No solution. And of course, we could write it out like this. Okay, this is an empty solution set. There's no solution in our set or we could denote that symbol right there okay it means empty set right no solution you can say no solution you could say this you could say empty set the set is empty right no solution to that equation all right <clears throat> okay so we're over here go to math.com looking at some linear equations in the algebra section, and I'll see you in the next problem.